Welcome to this tutorial about process model number 7, that is a moderated mediation in which the A path is moderated. In this tutorial I show you how to interpret the output for model 7, but before we go to the output, let's have a quick look at the options I used in order to generate this output. Here are the relevant variables, the dependent variable, the independent variable, the mediator and the moderator. Here the model number, number 7, and down here I've chosen bootstrap inference in order not to care about possible violations of the normality assumption. Then we go to options. I'd like to get code for visualizing interactions for the A path in order not to care about possible heteroscedasticity. I've chosen a robust standard error, HC4. Then I change the decimal places in the output to 3. Then I'd like to mean center continuous variables that are part of products. In the case of model number 7, that's the independent variable and the moderator. For probing interactions, I like as conditioning values minus 1 standard deviation, mean and plus 1 standard deviation. And for the moderated A path, I'd like to get the Johnson name and output. There are two additional tutorials relevant for this topic. First, instead of using the process dialog box, you could use process syntax. It's more flexible, that is, you can do things with syntax you can't do from the dialog box. I've written a tutorial about that, the link is in the description. The second important topic is regression assumptions. A moderated mediation is based on regression models, and regression have assumptions. How you can deal with those in the context of a process model about that I've made a video tutorial, the link is in the description too. So let's start with the output. First I'd like to check whether I've used the correct variables. Especially in a big data set with many variables, it's easy to click on the wrong one. Then I go to the bottom of the output. Here you would find any error messages. In this case, luckily there are none. Then we go to the key part of the output. It's about two-thirds from the top direct and indirect effects of x on y. The key information is down here, the index of moderated mediation. This index tests whether we have an indirect effect that is moderated by our moderator. It's calculated by multiplying the regression weight for the interaction of the A path with the regression weight for the B path. Because we don't know the distribution of this index, we can't calculate a p-value, we have to resort to bootstrapping. So here, to test this index, whether that's significantly different from zero, process constructs a bootstrap confidence interval. And if this is significant, that is, if zero is not part of this confidence interval, then we have a significant index of moderated mediation, and then we have a moderated mediation. So basically, we have to look at this confidence interval. If both limits are positive, or if both limits are negative, then it's significant, and then we do have a moderated mediation. Otherwise, we don't have a moderated mediation. If this is significant, next we look at the indirect effect at different values of the moderator. So here we have for three different values of the moderator, minus one standard deviation, mean, and plus one standard deviation, the effect, and looking at the confidence interval, we can check whether this effect is significant or not. In this case, for all three values of the moderator, we have a significant positive indirect effect. Of course, in a mediation model, you could have a direct effect too. That's up here. In this case, it's not significant. Next, we'll be looking at the two components of the model. First, we look at the regression model for the moderated A path. And then we look at the regression model for the B path and the C prime path. Let's start with the moderated A path. So the outcome variable is the mediator. The most important information here is the interaction. It's significant, so we have a moderated A path. And R2 change tells us how much variance this interaction explains. In this case, 13.4% of the variance of the mediator is explained by the interaction between the independent variable and the moderator. So this is the effect size for the moderation. If this is significant, next 
we look at the simple slopes, that is, the conditional effects at different values of the moderator. Here again, minus 1 standard deviation, mean and plus 1 the standard deviation, the A path conditional on this value of the moderator, and whether it's significant or not. Here, in this table and up there in the parameter table, you see HC4, so those p-values are calculated by using robust standard errors. Next, we go to the johnson neyman method. Here, the A path is calculated not only for three values of the moderator, but for many more. In this case, there are no statistical significant transition points. That is, for all those values of the moderator, we have a significant A path. And finally, here we have the code for visualizing those interactions. That is, for plotting the simple slopes. We copy it, paste it into a syntax file, run it, and add lines for subgroups. I would only do this if you have a significant moderation for the A path. Then we come to the model for the B path and the direct effect C prime. Here we see we have a significant B path and as we have already noted earlier, we don't have a significant direct effect C prime. The last thing we'll be looking at is at the end of the output, the bootstrap results for the model for the A path and the model for the B path and C prime path. Here we can check if the results we've looked at earlier for those two parts of the model are robust when it comes to possible violations of normality. For the A path, the interaction is significant with bootstrapping too, because both limits of the confidence interval are positive, so the zero is not included. And for the B path, the same. We have a significant B path according to bootstrapping. So this confirms the results we've looked at earlier. That's it. I hope this has been helpful for you. You can find links to tutorials for other moderated mediation models with process in the description of this video.